Hi guys, welcome to Friday. It is mindful movement. And I'm gonna put the phone up. I probably should be doing that before I start it. La 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 la. I don't know if you can hear, but Dr. Mink is here. So he normally he's been doing whatever he wants basically on Fridays. Um, he's finishing up an inter a GA interview. Somebody to replace me. So, um, so I'm just gonna get started with some breathing so we can get centered. Um, before he comes in and does, I, I don't, I don't know what he wants to do. I think he said something about problem ago. I don't know. So, <sighs> whether you're standing or sitting, actually, let's do standing unless you would prefer sitting. Um, just try to either close your eyes or soften your gaze and take some deep breaths and try to really feel your physical body. Like, how do you stand? Or if you're seated, how do you sit? The alignment in your spine, the engagement of your shoulders, the placement of your shoulders. If you were gonna try to draw yourself, what would you draw? How are you standing? And this can be really hard because we stand or sit all the time. So we're bringing an awareness into a mundane, um, practice or a mundane posture but that's where it can be helpful as well since we do it all day so it's helpful for me to close my eyes when I do it because it keeps me from getting so distracted and so starting at the tip of your head noticing any muscles in your face the placement of your shoulders The alignment of your spine, and the placement and engagement of your legs, and starting to take deeper breaths as you notice the changes that may happen as you're taking deeper, fuller breaths. I start to notice how my the lower part of the ribs get engaged in the breathing process. Maybe you can even feel a little bit of your lower core being engaged when you take deeper breaths. And anytime your mind starts to wander into something else, whatever it is, just try to bring it back to studying your posture and your breath. How are you standing? And then coming into an alignment. So starting to take those deeper breaths as we lift and lengthen through our spine. Shoulders stay down. And softly press the shoulder blades together. So it looks a little bit more like this than like this. So we're not, we're not being super tight or super strong. We're just being engaged. And the same with the legs, actively pressing down into the floor, but not straining yourself, just a soft engagement. And it helps if you have a soft bend in your knees when you do so. Deeper breaths. And then we're gonna add our arm movement. So we're starting to sync our breath with our movement. As we take an inhale, reach your arms wide, going above the head, maybe even gazing up. And an exhale, bringing the hands down to center. Coming up the center, inhale. And then exhale, reaching the arms wide. And breathe through your mouth if that feels right to you. Inhale, going wide. Exhale, center. Inhale, center. Exhale wide. I'm just going to do this a few times, making your breath last with the movement. Inhales wide. Exhale, center. Inhale, center. Exhale wide. Inhale wide. Anybody out there today? Uh huh. Exhale, center. Inhale, center. Oh, you, are, do you want to do it? Exhale wide. Hmm? No? I'm just prepping. Oh, okay. <laughs> Inhale wide. Is Bailey J out there? Mm -mm. Oh. Exhale center. 
Inhale, center. And exhale wide. This is like Qigong, huh? It is, yes. Ah. So say hello, Dr. Mink. Namaste. Mm -hmm. How many are out there? Can uh, you tell? Three. Three. Good morning. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Just, just the breathing. Just that? that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do, they never say what they want to do, huh? No. You guys want to do Krav Maga today? <laughs> well, anyway, let's... <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's... Yeah. Hmm? Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. You want to finish no, the no, loosening? No, 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 that was it. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't do the whole, like, loosening, warming up. Oh, okay, okay. Well, welcome once again to Friday morning uh, mindful movement. Um, I will just share honestly with you that I need to release some uh, energy and such. Uh, I had to take my lovely dog into the vet this morning and she's been limping and I'm agitated about that and I want to go pick her up and whatever. So um, I'm going to share that with you guys, hopefully. So uh, in any case, namaste. And uh, as always, let's spend a few minutes uh, continuing. Um, uh, Dr. Street, Katie, activated some of your energy with those Qigong movements. So let's uh, make sure the joints are loosened up and, and all of that. So uh, gently rotate your neck, both clockwise and anti-clockwise. I think it's called counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. <laughs> counterclockwise, not anti-clockwise. Uh, by the way, I'm looking, can you see my socks? They're like really uh, um, colorful and, and whatever. These are socks that were um, given to our blood donors at a uh, blood drive. And uh, in the colorful circles are identified the various blood types, A positive, A negative, all of that. Uh, if any of you are blood donors or have ever wanted to be a blood donor, obviously uh, during this time of life for all of us, during the pandemic, the blood supply has been really, really reduced. Um, so if any of you, we, we really promote blood drives and whatever here at the University of Arkansas, but, um, or if you uh, just wanna spread the word and encourage, uh, uh, family members or um, um, friends, acquaintances to do so. That would be, that would be uh, very desirable. Release your chin down towards your sternum and now look directly forward and then lift your gaze overhead and then forward and down. Several times at your own pace. And now when you're ready, look over each shoulder. Just look from side to side over each shoulder. And now reach your ear down to one shoulder, come on back up, and reach your ear down to the other shoulder. Back up, and back up. And another rotation, both directions. And now reach your chin down to one of your collarbones, either to the left or the right side, and then isometrically compress. And up and reach to the other side. And now shake out your arms. Upper arm bones, the humeri. Lift the humeri and roll the shoulders back. Lift and roll. Lift and roll. And now lift the humeri and roll the shoulders forward. And then just kind of mix it up for yourselves. Forward and back. Forward and back. And then with your arms very loose, just swing from side to side. Keep your belly very soft. Allow the spine to twist and open. And now reach your arms out directly to the side and begin with small, tight arm circles. And then as you gradually open the circle, slow down the rotation. And then tighten up the circle, increasing the velocity, and then reverse directions. Tight circles, open the circle, slow down the rotation. And now reach your arms overhead, draw the skin tightly across the palms. Drop the heads of the humeri down into the shoulder sockets. 
Inhale, exhale, belly soft, and just fold and hang forward like a rag doll for several breaths. Allowing the spacing in between your vertebrae to open, releasing any gripping around your tailbone, your lower back. And breathe. And now bend your knees slightly, float your arms out to the side, overhead. Touch your palms together, hands back to back, and float them down to your sides. Arms directly in front of you, reach out to the side, touch the palms together, all in the inhale, hands back to back, exhale. So a three-part inhale, and one long exhale. Three-part inhale, Feet and knees together, bend your knees, hands on your knees, and circle them a little bit. Both directions. And then with your feet about hip width apart, squat down. Come up on the balls of your feet, post your fingertips down. Just allow the knees to open up a little bit more. Just settle your bottom down in between your knees. Come on back up, hands on your knees, and gently press them back. Once again, squat down, up, press them back, and one more time. Up, and back. Krav Maga is the Israeli self-defense system. Um, it's not a martial art, just a bunch of really, really effective uh, techniques. Um, if you're interested, it's spelled K-R-A-V-M-A-G-A. -A -A. You can Google it and look into it and whatever. Um, we offer an ongoing series of classes here uh, at the Pat Walker Health Center. Um, hopefully, and most people never actually need to utilize self-defense techniques, but it increases um, situational awareness, which is wonderful. But the movements are very dynamic, very different from yoga and tai chi. Um, and so uh, we'd like to introduce that a little bit to you today. Um, so what you're gonna do is stand with your, if you're a right-handed person, left foot forward. If you're a left-handed person, right foot forward. Um, just open your hands in front of you, very natural movement. Somebody throws a ball at you or whatever, without even thinking, your hands come up. Uh, that's the, one of the fundamental principles of Krav Maga. It's based on natural, instinctual movements. Okay, so hands are going to be up, knees slightly bent, and all we're going to do is alternate strikes forward. Okay, they don't use fists very often, so imagine that someone's in front of you, and you're just going to angle your hands up because usually an assailant is bigger <laughs> than their. Uh, perspective victim. So what we're going to do is just extend the hand. Each time you do that, you exhale, okay? With intention, you exhale. Uh, that helps generate some more power, but it also helps you perhaps not freeze in a threatening situation, okay? So audibly make a sound like, such as this. Each time you strike, exhale. You can even go hoo, 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 and chuckle away. Many people chuckle away, uh, but again, this is just very empowering. I have a two and a half year old daughter, or granddaughter, um, and right off the bat, I want her to know some of this stuff. So I go, Emmy, Krav Maga, and she goes, ha, Krav Maga. So it's very, you know, um, and it's also kind of centering um, so that it's not so hard to uh, be pushed or pulled around. So let's do 10 of these. Ready? That is the absolute first movement that they teach in Krav Maga. Um, the um, 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 most vulnerable points when someone is larger or stronger than you that, to uh, disrupt an attack are the eyes, the throat, and the groin. So everything in Krav Maga is focused on the eyes, the throat, the groin. If someone strikes you to the eyes, 
or the throat or the groin, you cannot not react. You cannot not react, okay? Um, so you strike and sometimes you can eye gouge or whatever. Okay, so strike, strike, and now what we're gonna do is just do a little snap kick towards the groin, okay? Later on, you can use the knee, but today we're gonna introduce this, you know, um, you don't use your toes or the ball of your foot, but literally your entire foot up to the ankle, kind of placing it right there in uh, the groin area. Uh, and it's like a snap kick. So you come up, snap, chamber and come back we call this chamber come up snap chamber come back keep your hands up always keep your hands up snap kick and back snap kick and back okay so we're going to go strike strike one strike or if you're left-handed right left and then we'll do the snap kick okay ready and kick strike strike and kick strike strike and kick each time you strike kind of turn your hips because that creates greater length to keep kind of keep someone away from you so turn your body extend the arm ready snap kick snap kick snap kick snap kick, snap kick. okay um, when you strike the groin, the uh, potential assailant cannot not react, and likely they will hunch over. Okay, they will likely hunch over. So, the third, I'm sorry, the fourth movement, this is, again, the very most fundamental stuff initially taught in Krav Maga, is what's called a hammer fist. Okay, again, most of the time you use open hands, and you can even do a hammer fist with an open hand. But they teach to make a good fist. If you're with, with us a couple of weeks ago, we did some boxing drills. So you want a flat surface, wrap your thumb around the first knuckle, a flat surface here. Okay, you don't want to punch with your arms bent or your fingers like this. And so a hammer fist just comes up above the head and then straight down straight down. Turn your hips, bring your arm overhead, and then exhale. So putting those four movements together, it looks like this. Strike, strike, snap kick, they bend over, hammer fist, hammer fist. Now the intent is to try to get to the neck or the upper spine or whatever. Remember, this comes from Israel, folks. And um, uh, the history of Krav Maga is very interesting. The gentleman that started it was uh, a Holocaust survivor. Um, some of his family did not survive the Holocaust. And uh, the gentleman, the Grand Master that initially created Krav Maga, basically said to the Israelis, what happened during the Holocaust will not happen again. So what he developed is this system that is based on survival. It's a very different world over there, obviously, from what we uh, are blessed to live in here in the United States. Uh, but over there, as a, just as an anecdote, um, if you are a young man or a young woman, um, it doesn't matter, male or female, uh, you are required to serve at least two years in the Israeli military. It's called the IDF, the Israeli Defense Force. And the Krav Maga that we're introducing today, just like this, is the stuff uh, that forms the foundation from, for the military. Um, and ultimately, the, um, uh, the gentleman that de developed this was the uh, primary instructor of the Israeli Defense Force uh, for, for many, many years. Uh, so, uh, you know, the target point, long way of saying the target point is to try to really, really neutralize an attack or it could even be a fatal blow. Uh, one of the things about me, I have a long um, history of martial arts. Uh, mine tend to be, quote, more peacefully oriented, <laughs> even, you know, if you can imagine a martial art that's peaceful, but um, my arts teach to just neutralize an attack. 
not to hurt or, or maim someone else. So you have the, always have the option. If somebody bends over, you can do a, a, a fatal attempting blow, or you could keep an open hand and just strike and just strike and push them away and, and leave the situation. But we're teaching uh, Krav Maga. So, can you see me from the side? We're gonna go strike, strike, snap, kick, hammer fist. Each time exhaling with each move. And again. And again. And what our Krav Maga instructor says all the time, I hope you can remember, uh, but he says, uh, slow becomes smooth, smooth becomes fast. I think that's what he says, okay? So you don't have to do this, you know, real crazy early on. You wanna get some muscle memory. So do it very smooth. And this is, the, this is why we've inserted this in the mindful movement thing, because it's different kinds of movement. Even if you don't wanna, um, uh, related to self-defense or personal defense, you know, you can, I hope, appreciate the movements. So extend, extend, snap kick, a little balance, and you can keep an open hand as you do this downward strike, okay? So strike, strike, snap kick, and three more times. And And once more. And if Dr. Street would come in, just so you can see this, I was well, just saying, yeah. So if I'm the, if I'm the attacker, just so that you can see this, she would, would strike, 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 kick. I would bend over, hammer fist. Okay, so she strikes, strike, strike. And see, and she's a yogi, but can you see the excitement in her face yeah. when she moves? And ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, both of us have trained with the gentleman who has trained in Israel. So, if any of you ultimately get back to campus, <laughs> when we get back to campus, or I think maybe we'll end up doing um, uh, the Krav Maga, and the Tai Chi, and, and those things on an ongoing basis uh, remotely. Uh, maybe we can work that out with Cole or whatever, but we will continue to do our best to offer these kinds of things. Um, again, if you've been with us previously on an ongoing basis, here from Pat Walker, we offer uh, non-credit yoga classes, uh, uh, non-credit mindful meditation classes, uh, a non-credit Tai Chi class with a Tai Chi master who comes in uh, and does that for us. And then we've also most recently uh, offered the Krav Maga training. So, oh, and Aikido, which is a Japanese martial art. So we will find some way to continue to offer those uh, on an ongoing basis. So uh, we have just a couple of minutes left. How about, do, can we finish? Okay, let's take a few minutes then to, to cool down. But, but look it up, Krav Maga, the local Fayetteville school uh, is simply called, I think, Krav Maga Fayetteville. Krav Maga Fayetteville. Uh, the uh, owner and uh, um, chief instructor that we have worked with is a, a lovely uh, uh, young man by the name of Cole Soge. S A U G E Y. Um, and um, um, he's just back, kind of reopening the school somewhat, so you may want to check that out. But there's a lot of online YouTube stuff. So if any of this resonated with you, you know, just, uh, there's a lot of training you can do uh, on your own. So, um, shake out the arms. And again, just kind of swing the hips and the spine and the arms from side to side. Hands on your hips, rotate the hips a little bit. Both directions. And again, rotate neck and then counterclockwise right clockwise and then counter clockwise align your hands gentle curves in your arms big circle 
Lift the heart, lift the chin, reach the hands overhead. Inhale and exhale. As though you're encircling the sun or the moon. As one of my architecture students once said, or one of the students in a class of mine that was an architecture student, when I said encircle something big and round, she said an orb. So imagine encircling an orb. And now reach both arms overhead. Keep them wider than shoulder width apart. Draw the skin tightly across your palms. Lift your chin, lift your heart. Several deep breaths. I don't know about you guys, but I feel so much better. Ah. Uh, in any case, um, um, I think we've done hands overhead, lowering them down to our forehead or um, the third eye area releasing them down to the throat and then finishing in front of our heart. Please repeat after me, may I be well. May I be well. May I be happy and peaceful. May I be happy and peaceful. May I be free from danger and suffering. May I be free from danger and suffering. And we finish in front of our heart. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be filled with loving kindness. Namaste. Or amen. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever suits you.